Hey guys, how are you? If you're new to my channel, my name is Sarah. This is my YouTube channel, Stitching by Sarah. This is a channel about cross stitch. And that is Leah. I have a window open so she hears a lot of uh, um, nature sounds. So she has got to come check it out. So anyways, if you're new to my channel, I wanna thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy my channel and decide to come back and watch other videos. And to all my wonderful returning viewers, I want to thank you so very much for coming back. Um, I am actually recording at least an hour later than usual. I was busy this morning watching um, Stacy, the 911 Stitcher, and um, Lisa cross by floss. So I kind of lost track of time. Uh, windows open. It's a nice day out there. Hopefully it will shut. Sometimes when we open windows around here, they don't shut. So, um, you guys, you know I have addiction, right? Not only to cross stitch, but buying other, you know, other cross stitch pieces. We went to antique stores, my husband and I, our little date night, date afternoon. Um, we tend to, we like to go to antique stores and resale shops. I look for cross stitch pieces. He looks for, you know, whatever he's looking for. Sometimes he looks for cross stitch pieces too. But this weekend, I found a bunch of things. I'm going to put a picture right here of what they look like all together on the sofa. Um, I We went to like three or four different areas. So let me show you guys what they look like up close. And the most expensive one, I only spent $40 on. So first is, um, God can't always be everywhere, so he invented mothers. So first of all, it's purple. So I, I had to get it. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's got some stat satin stitches for the M and the G. Um, reflection is really bad sorry but so I love this one um, this says that it was framed by McCoy's picture frames in Orange Texas so I gotta check and see if that place is still around if not you know find out more about them uh, next one all right so after our vacation last year where I bought what 10 20 um, cross stitch pieces I had told myself that I'm gonna be a good girl and when I find things I'm gonna buy things that look like they're old or they are old and I have to really love them well this one um, crossed off I really love it I've actually seen this um, at the antique store that we had gone to it's been there for a while and she was just screaming out at me, come on, Sarah, take me home with you. So this is Paula Vaughn. Um, and this is the most expensive piece that I bought. This was $40. Um, I don't know which, I haven't looked to see which, um, which pattern this is. But um, I passed on it one or two times before because I kept saying to myself, Sarah, you have that pattern. You can stitch it yourself. But I decided since it's been there that long, I was going to bring her home with me. So she's going to go in my on my wall right over there. And this says it was framed in Dayton, Tennessee, the frame maker. I think, well, I wanted to say this is my favorite, but, I, you know, I love them all. But this, you know, this is not cross-stitch only. This has got some cross-stitch on the bottom, but the rest of it is um, embroidery. So let me see if I can do this. Uh, sorry, there's lots of shadows. So uh, let me turn this off. See if that helps any. Nope, doesn't help any. All right, so the embroidery. The little shepherd boy with the shepherd, or with the sheep. 
So that is, I need to, um, I need to reframe it because, or, you know, put some more tacks or something in here because it's kind of falling apart. Um, and it says on the back that it was bought at an antique store for 87, 87, 80. I bought it for 20 bucks. So that is, that is that piece. All right. I've got two more. This one was like 10 bucks. Um, so you are as welcome as the flowers in May. Isn't that pretty? I absolutely love this one. That's going out in our front room. And then, then there's this piece. So I had, I had told you that, um, after last, after our trip last year, when I came home with lots, um, I had said I was going to buy only old stuff. Well, this is not old, but it's got Eeyore. I don't have any grandchildren, but it's going to, it's going to be put away for grandkids or put in a room, you know. I'm putting it somewhere. I absolutely love Eeyore. And I didn't notice until yesterday those yellow stars or yeah, they're uh, like little can't see them all that well. Little diamonds. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love Eeyore. And you can see he or she O-E-A she signed it for 2006. So I absolutely adore this. I tried very hard to resist it, but it kept saying, no, Sarah, take me with you. You love Eeyore. You love it. Take me with you. So, you know, on my, on my um, Instagram, Facebook post, I put, you know, Standing up, clearing throat. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Sarah. I have an addiction to buying older cross stitch pieces. So, as you can see, I have an addiction to buying older cross stitch pieces. All right. So, um, I actually I have a somewhat a decent amount of stitching. Um, I have just a couple pieces of of stuff that um, add to my collection. Uh, before I go anywhere, um, Margaret Kinney, Margaret Kinney, you are a winner of this. I need your mailing address. I can't see where I've sent you anything in the past. So if you could email me at stitching.by.sarah at gmail.com so I can mail this out to you. If I don't hear from Margaret, it's just going to go back in the, in the um, pile for next time or some other time. All right. So let's start off with, um, like always, I have no starts. I have no finishes. You know, if you've been here, you know that's how I roll. This is Heartstring Samplery's um, Tudor Rose Biscornu. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. And this is where it is now. Um, the fabric is 32 count cream Belfast. I believe I pulled my own colors. Uh, I worked on the, the pink this week. The pink in that, that bud and then the pink in that rose. So that's where that one is. I pulled out um, the Stargazer again. She's by Mirabilia. This is where she was last time you guys saw her. And this is where she's at now. I worked in her, her ribbon in her hair a little bit more. So that's where she's at. Um, purple, if you have not been here before, this is my own conversion. 
The fabric is 16 count witching hour by pole stitches. Isn't she pretty? So let me show you what the whole fabric looks like. That's what the fabric looks like. All right, so that is her progress. Next is Little House Needleworks, um, Psalm 145. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. And this is where it's at now. So the only thing I did this week was I finished the first line. I am using so far all of the called for. I went to stitch. I went to stitch the, um, I went to stitch. There's little, um, little pieces of color with each of those little red berries, but I didn't have that floss. I didn't have anything. Basically, these are the only colors that I have in my bag. So I've got to go and um, buy some more floss. A couple more skeins that are called for. Unless I decide to just go through what I have and pull out something close. So that is where Psalm 145 is. All right, next is Memorial Day by Hands On Design. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. And this is where it's at now. Um, what I did was I finished that off white and I added that white. So not a lot of stitching, but it's a little bit of progress. So that's where Memorial Day is at at the moment. I still have three more to go through. I didn't realize I stitched that much this week. Although it's been kind of rainy. So I wasn't outside playing as much. This is, next one is Erica Michaels Bristol Berries. I'm working on that berry right there. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. So this is where it is now. So I went over to um, my friend Caroline's house. Um, Caroline, Jill, and I stitched for a while. And I got a lot of progress. I finished the word Bristol. I finished that piece over there. I finished the key and that little uh, chain and worked on starting windows. So I got quite a bit done. Yeah, I'd say I'm definitely more than halfway done with it. So I need to get that done. Next is Little House Needleworks um, ABC Sampler. This is where it was last time you guys saw it. This is where it's at now. I finished working on that tree. I added, started the roof. Fabric is 28 count doubloon. And I am using my own conversion, I think. Let me check. I don't remember. Nope, they're the called for. I'm using the called for. So that is where ABC Samplers is. And I think I told you that I am going to put my initials instead of ABC. It's going to be SLB. So I'm going to put that instead. So that's where that one is at. And then this morning while I was watching um, Lisa and Stacy, I pulled out uh, Sabrina by Mirabilia. This is where she was last time you saw her. This is where she's at now. So uh, there is, I filled in that spot there, that spot there. Um, there's a line of stitches there I did, and then there is that, that bluish green that's kind of blending into the fabric. I worked on that. Fabric is 32 count Yuletide by Bestitch Me, and I'm using all the called for. 
Well, let me show you what Yuletide looks like. Isn't that pretty? So that's Sabrina. So that is all of my stitching this week. Um, did I show you that I got my punch needle and primitive stitcher? Love that. I've got to do that. Um, let's see. If you're a strawberry fan, there's that one. That's Strawberry Cottage by Twin Peaks. Um, let's see, what was my other favorite? Hmm. And that's what, I won't do it on the pink, but that's um, Friends Are Flowers by Lucy Beam. So those are probably two that I'll do. Um, I had noticed, or I had heard somebody on YouTube saying they had gotten their magazine. I think it was Janet Jabber. I think Janet Jabber had mentioned that she had gotten her, her magazine and it had her address, but somebody else's, um, somebody else's name. The exact same thing happened to me. So it must be a thing. All right. So on Stacy 911 this morning, she was talking about um, a cross stitch store. I think it was in the um, New Zealand. Uh, the lady had um, lost everything due to a flood and she actually has a store online. Um, Stacy had recommended going to her shop and see if there's any PDF um, things that you can buy to support her. All she has in her shop is PDFs because I guess everything else was lost. So the store is Barberry Row. Uh, um, it is on Etsy. So I went looking around and I found in Burgundy Scissor Fob. Cute little biscornu. So I got this this morning. And then this is meadow grass biscornu. So if you have the opportunity, um, if you want to help her out, uh, I'm going to put right here the name of the store, Barberry Row. You can um, search her and see what, if there's anything there you would like to help her with. All right. So the next is just a shameless plug for me. I was looking around Vistaprint um, a couple weeks ago just to see what they had. I had ordered um, business cards off of them in the event that I went to a cross stitch retreat and somebody says, hey, what's your, what's your floss tube name? I could pull out a card and hand it to them. Well, I found they had all sorts of other things. Um, so I, I made bags with my channel. I had them make tablets with my channel and on the inside is my information and pens. So, uh, I'm going to see if anybody's interested. If you're interested in winning, I have two of them I'm going to give away. Bag, pen, and notebook. And I'm going to restrict this to the U.S. at the moment. If you are interested in, in the three of them, um, just say bag, I guess. And I will pull out two winners for next week. All right? So... Just, I mean, if you're interested, I'm just wanting to see if there is an interest for them out there. Um, let's see. This past week, I told you about my husband and I going out. Um, my husband's going to kill me for this, but if you are praying people, can you pray for my husband? He's going through some medical stuff right now. He's got some testing for the end of April and the beginning of May. Um, but the doctor's trying to get them in earlier. Um, it could be severe. So 
if you could pray for them, um, just let me, you know, just if you could just do that, that would be great. Otherwise, I've been out playing with my flowers, you know, making flower beds, enjoying this warm weather. Um, working. That's about it. So I think I will see you next week. I don't think there's anything going on. Let's see. Oh, tomorrow's April Fool's Day. You know, every time I think of April Fool's, I think of my grandpa. My grandpa loved April Fool's Day. And one of the one thing that I really remember the most about April Fool's Day and grandpa, um, when I was driving, I took my car up there to have him help me um, change the oil. And, I, you know, I was down there changing my oil and he kept telling me I was turning it the wrong, the, the little knob to pull the oil out. He kept telling me I was turning it the wrong way. So I'm trying to turn it the way he's telling me it's not coming off, not coming off. And, you know, and then he goes, April Fool's. So oh, I love, I love the thoughts of April Fool's Day. I'm not very good at April Fool's Day, but um, it's just one of my favorite memories of my grandpa. So anyways, with that, I am going to let you go. Um, I've got some stuff that I'm going to do today. So I'm going to edit the video, get it up, and I will uh, see you all next week. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.